Oh, hello. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? Oh, I see. Well, I'm really glad you came here. Um, I believe it's the first step. I know it's not been easy. But, as I said, I'm really glad you are here. And, well, I understand on first sessions that it's not easy and you're still not feeling very comfortable, which is absolutely normal. Because of that, we will do some breathing exercise and just to, you know, to relieve the tension. <laughs> and don't worry, I'm also going to breathe with you. We are going to do this together. So let's start with just inhaling and breathe out. Good. Now breathe in and breathe out. Good, 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 good. good. Now in the third time we will breathe in. You will hold it for a little bit and then we will breathe out. Ready? Okay. So let's breathe in. Hold, 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 and breathe out. Good. Just breathe in like that. You can do it throughout the entire session, don't worry. Just release the tension, move your shoulder a little bit, it's okay. You are safe here. This is a safe zone. Look around you. It's all good. I am on your team here. Good, 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 good. Okay. So, as I said, this is our first time meeting. Um, I'm really proud of you for taking this step. I will start with questioning you. Um, about yourself, more like basic information, it's really necessary, so I will know a bit more. And we will go for more deep questions, of course, in the future if you want to continue. And don't worry, you are the one who is deciding. And after that, um, I'll give you some sentences, you will tell me how you feel about them. We will do a little bit of exercising on how you feel about yourself and don't worry it's again the first time so no pressure no stress it will be a bit difficult at start but i believe that as we go it will get easier and i might give you some homework <laughs> no don't worry no school homework just homework to practice until we meet again Okay, so as I said, breathe in, I will light a candle here, as I always like to do, just so we will get into a more comfortable, this is my favorite vanilla smell, I hope you will like it too, and where is my lighter? Going to be here with us throughout the session. Really big, big flame. I hope you're good with this. Okay, so let me enter your information to my computer. Just it's a necessary procedure before we start with everything. Um, what is your full name? Mm -hmm. uh, where are you from? I need your full address if it's okay. Of course, if you feel comfortable with it. Okay. Okay. So, 
So I'm also entering some information about today. That is our first session. It's very really important to keep a check on that. Okay. Now tell me why are you here today mainly? Is it something that triggered you to be here? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Yeah. Mm. I'm really sorry to hear that. See? Okay, we will talk about everything in a more open one um, later on, but it's just like basic information, sisters, brothers, your parents okay. mm -hmm. I see, I see, I see um, do you work? Mm -hmm. can you um, just give me a little bit more information what you do? Don't worry, we will get into that as well. Work is a very triggering thing um, in anyone's life, so I will probably want to know even more than that. Okay, I know this is not very um, easy part, the question and the answering, so you are doing an amazing job and I promise that as we go it will get easier on that part as I said family uh, can you tell me if you know of course like um, family mental health kind of history of course if you know okay mm-hmm mm-hmm Okay. Um, what about any medications that you take daily, monthly? Mm -hmm. Okay. Any routine, something that you do daily that you want to add to that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I see, I see, I see, I see. I'm just going to feel like I see that we filled all the other information that was needed. Okay, great. Great, great, great. Now I'm going to get my notebook and I just want you to basically start telling me about yourself. I know it can be like a little bit overwhelming and but I promise that it's only for like a good reason that I just really want to know more about why you are here what is your day um, going like about your past if you want to add something and I'm going to just to write notes to myself but think that I feel like maybe we should like stop and talk about of course again this is the first time so I'm not expecting getting into everything but just tell me about who you are. Yes, I'm listening. Mm hmm. Mm hmm.
Okay, uh, I'm stopping you for a second. Um, on average, how many sleep hours do you get every day? Okay. Mm -hmm. Look, they say, medical exams at least, that the average sleep needs to be between six to seven hours to be good. Eight, obviously, is the optimistic one and six is the minimum mm -hmm. so i just want to see do you have dreams at night okay you can't control dreams of course but like just want to. and on a scale to one to ten how much would you give on your sleep um as a good sleep to be ten bad sleep to be one okay Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, it was just really important to just ask about that because sleep is a lot for our mental health. Um, and when you sleep bad, you will get noticed. Your mind is working differently. Your thoughts are usually less happy thoughts, let's call it. Mm -hmm. So it's important for me to just know that little details. We will get into that even more. Okay, continue. I'm sorry for stopping. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, I see. That's a lot of hours to work every day. You probably see having a really tough time with that yeah I see what about going out after work would you tell me in like how many uh, how many times you are getting out of like doing friend stuff outside stuff after work and um, weekly let's say Oh, okay, okay. I'm not judging like on that. I'm just, you know, being in a different environment and having a not just a work routine is really important as well for mental health. Like getting out, seeing people, talk to people. We as humans, we need the connections. It's really helping us. I just wanted to get that. Okay, continue. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you have any hobbies other than that? Hobbies, okay. Oh, that's quite interesting. Okay, other than that, anything else you like to do? And how often do you do that, if you don't mind adding? Okay. That's not quite interesting. Hmm. Okay. And... Anything all that you want to add? Do you feel stress, anxieties? When you, when do you feel that? In the mornings, nights, during work, middle of the day? You know, we will try to find what triggered it. You know. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Look, I obviously have more questions. I want to give you three sentences I have on my computer here. And I want you to tell me, how do they make you feel? Uh, one sec, I'll just check on my computer here. Okay. Yeah, it's very bright, I know. I'm sorry. So, 
on the first sentence is once you replace negative thoughts with positive ones you will start having positive results do you agree with that how does it make you feel mm -hmm. okay are you having negative thoughts um, harming thoughts let's call it as well Mm-hmm. Again, don't feel pressure to get into the deep stuff if you are not comfortable yet. I just really trying to clarify uh, for myself to see on which level we are standing in order to obviously help you feel better. Okay. <laughs> I'm just making sure. Yeah. Okay. okay, the second sentence is how do you feel about when you feel the need to apologize or explain who you are it means the voice in your head is telling you the wrong story wipe the stereo clean and rewrite it do you feel the need to explain yourself about your character a lot okay yeah we as humans always try to get the approval from this like the environment we are in so it's very natural okay and last one remember that what happened to you does not define who you are how do you feel about that sentence do you feel like past events are affecting a lot of who you uh, on how you behave today mm-hmm okay we will get in everything here No, no, that was very in, um, important, informative for your character as well, for me. Now, I want you to close your eyes. And this will be a little bit of an exercise we will do. I'm going to close my notebook for that. Um, it's not going to be easy. Obviously, regarding to what you said, it's not going to be easy. Um, but I'm going to repeat with you on certain... Um, sentences and I want you to repeat it with me if you can okay so close your eyes take a deep breath loosen up the shoulders your chin again deep breath now repeat I am present I am present. Okay. I am doing my best. Good. I am more than my job. Breathe through it. Breathe through it. Now, in this moment, I am safe and secure. Good, you are safe. And the last one, I am enough. It's a difficult one, I know. It is a difficult one. You want us to repeat it again? We can. Okay, so for again, I am present. Good job. I am doing my best. 
I am more than my job. In this moment, I am safe. And last one. I am enough. You are. Good job. Good job. Every time you'll be here, we'll say more sentences. We are just entering this talk it out, talk it in kind of um, procedure, let's call it, in therapy um, in order to make you stronger in how you feel about yourself. And for next time, I want you to write every night after your day, even if it's the most difficult day, three good things that happen to you it can be the most smallest stuff even stuff that are pretty obvious um like i don't know the train came out on time the, the most good little stuff that you can find to write them and we will go through them on our next session okay i do hope you had a good time here and that you relaxed a little bit. And I'll see you next time. You got this. Stay strong. And you did the first step. Which is very brave. You got this.